All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we are given also the values of B and C, and we want to find what the value of A will be. So let's plug in the values we have. So here we have A, which we don't know, and instead of B, we're going to write 2 squared times C, which is negative 1. And remember, when you have variables that are right next to each other, that means that they are being multiplied by one another. Okay, and we have, negative, uh, we have minus 4 equals C, and instead of C, we're going to write negative 1. We're going to open our parentheses, a plus c, which is our negative 1, minus 1. All right, so now let's start and simplify. Here we have 2 raised to 2, 2 squared, and that gives us 4, times negative 1. That means that we have a negative 4a minus 4 equals, and here let's simplify what's inside the parentheses. We have a and negative 1 minus 1 gives us a negative 2. So now if we distribute this negative 1 into what's inside our parentheses, we have negative 1 times a, which gives us a negative a, and negative 1 times negative 2 gives us a positive 2, because a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So now let's move all of our variables to one side and all of our numbers to the other. So let's add this 4a to both sides and subtract 2 from both sides. So on this side we have a negative 6 equals 3a. Alright, so now in order to find the value of a, we're going to divide 3 on both sides. And here we have negative 6 divided by 3, which gives us a negative 2 equals a. So our final value for a will be negative 2, and that will be our final answer.